guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title below and this disastrous face I'm going to be doing a get ready with me makeup tutorial well not so much tutorial because tutorial is what a professional shows you I'm just going to do a get ready with me and I thought today soon as it's running up to the time when it's some um, Christmas party season I would do my take on a Christmas party look so I've already prepped and primed my skin. I've used the Dove um, Youthful Vitality. It's, it's a body lotion, but I use it on my face because it seems to be really helping with the changing season and the changing in the weather. As you can see, my rosacea has gotten quite bad, but it's okay, we're on top of it. And there is a fly going around, so please ignore that. So with my trusted little mirror, I will show you the steps that I use. If I look up every now and again, it's because I'm at my new dressing table, beauty station, whatever you want to call it. And I've got a big mirror behind me. So every now and again, I'll look up just to check, see how things are in there. Now, I don't want this video to be too long because we all know what I'm like for making long videos. So I'm just gonna get right into it. First of all, I'm going to put on my foundation. now. Before I start, disclaimer, I am not a professional makeup artist. I do not claim to be. Please don't put in the comments down below that I'm putting things on wrong. I probably am. And to be honest, I don't care. This is how I do it and this is how it works for me. So just a little disclaimer before I take the lid off. First thing I'm going to be using is this Essence Soft Touch Mousse. I've got this in matte beige. Looks like this. And I haven't hauled this yet because I've only had this a couple of days, as you can tell. But it's a really, really good, not full, full coverage foundation, but it's a really good found coverage, found uh, coverage foundation for what I need. I could do with a top of the range coverage, but some of us can't afford that. So what I'm going to do is use my Wilco's stippling brush, dip it in and just go for it. The coverage of this, actually, I will give it its due, is really, really good. I'm hoping my new lighting setup is working as well. I have got an LED light on its way. I did try to buy one from Argos, but it didn't work. And the second one I bought from Argos flashes. So I have to go back to Argos probably tomorrow. And pick a different one but unfortunately the one that I want either the first one or the second one I don't really care but neither of them are in stock in my town which is somewhat annoying I shall try not to talk too much it's already took me three minutes to do my coat but there we go as you can see the bumps are still there but if I step back Oh, the bumps are still there, but the colour has evened out, which is what we want. Right, next up, put that away. I'm trying to learn to put my brushes away like a good girl. I can't decide which concealer type thing to go for. I don't really need to conceal too much, thank God. But my under eyes are my main problem. So I'm going to go in with this W7 Go concealer. I have this in the colour medium and I should be using my Real Techniques. It's actually a um, pointed foundation brush but I find it really helps and I'm just going to do my under, under eyes because yeah <laughs> some of us didn't get a lot of sleep last night because my insomnia decided to play up major big time and I wasn't impressed. So, I'll just make that blend a little bit better into my face. And I do like this W7 one because it does have a little bit of a light reflecting quality to it. Just get my trusty little mirror a second. If I disappear behind this, I apologise. I did try filming a tutorial yesterday, but then when I looked back at the um, footage as you do. I wasn't overly 
impressed with the way. See, this is what happens with my skin. It's very, very dry and it starts peeling, which is really annoying. I'll just remove that bit. There's another piece just there. Oh, the joys of rosacea. It's such fun. Night. So that's that bit. Under eyes look a wee bit better, but not much. Put lids on things so they don't dry out. Always remember to do that. If you have a mousse foundation or a concealer, anything that's cream based, put the lids on them. Otherwise you have wasted your money, baby. Right, next up, I'm going to go in with the MUA pressed powder, well loved, hip pan. And I've got this in shade two. I do have a shade four. But shade 4 is a touch too dark for my skin tone at the moment. Basically, I've lost my suntan. Not that I had much of one in the first place. I did have on my arms, so... But yeah, I'm just going to go in with this. And press in. I find, because I'm not wearing a major thick layer of foundation anymore like I used to do, that pushing rather than sweeping stops the rest of the makeup underneath because there's only one and a half layers underneath but it just keeps it in place for me which is rather nice I do sweep under here though because my rosacea stops at my jawline there we go so that's that bit that away, that away. The brush I was using for that, by the way, is the powder brush by Wilco's. Only four pounds and really, really good. Get in there. I will show you my new station eventually when I get around to making it all look pretty. Right, next up are the eyes. I'm starting off by using the Exaggerate Undercover Eyeshadow Primer. And I just put it on that side. I've had this quite a while actually, it's lasted really well. And in peak season when I was at work, I was using this every day because I found I was sweating quite a bit at work. And basically my eyeshadow just didn't stay where I wanted it to be or anything like that. I'm covering the whole of my eye right the way up to underneath my eyebrow. Like so. Have forgotten one thing. Open the little drawer. Right, next up I am going to find my eyebrows before I do my eyeshadow. Because I've just looked in the mirror and I'm like, something's not right. And I've just thought, figured it out. The stuff I use for my eyebrows is by B Cosmetic, uh, B Creatives. And it is the art edition. I'm going to cover one little bit because it's the pomade and it's just got powder in it. I tend to, I use both of them. This one's nearly dead, but I use this on the inside and this on the outside for definition. And I've just stuck my finger in it. So let's find my eyebrows. For eyebrows, I'm using another Wilco's brush and it's just the little detailer eyebrow brush itself. All these brushes from Wilco's are really, really good actually. I can't find fault in them as yet. So, yeah, let's find our eyebrows, she says. Now, luckily for me, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins, because I never, ever, ever get them looking the same. They're never the same in two photos either, it's hilarious. I'm thinking of trying out the, um, what do you call it, Soap and Glory, because they've got a eyebrow pencil. A lot of people are raving about so I'm tempted to get that. Right. Let's make sure you're both from the same gene pool, shall we? I'm a little bit low with that one, so I'll just swoop in with my finger. <laughs> that worked. Hey. Don't try that technique at home, it probably wouldn't work. 
quite surprised it did for me to be honest. With it being a Christmassy look, I am going for a higher eyebrow, high arch brow, if that makes sense. <coughs> Next up, where you going? It's alright having these all in one little pot, but you can't find what you're looking for. Another well cares, just a little brush to neaten it all up. I'm not one for harsh lines on my eyebrows. I never have been. And I doubtless ever will be. Yep. Then my little free sample of Benefit Gimme Brow. I love the shade of this. I keep checking all the magazines to see if there's another one coming out, but there doesn't seem to be at the moment. And I'm just going to hello. Make sure all the hairs are going in the same direction. Like so. So that's the brows done. Prefer that one to that one, but hey ho. There we go. Beggars can't be choosers. Right. Put that away. If I die, then everything will just stand up on the dressing table and nothing will ever get put away. Right. Next up, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution palette. This is a well loved palette. As you can see, it's starting to fade away. This is the Eyes Like Angels palette. Looks like this. The colour I'm going in with today is this one first, which is a purpley tone. I'll try not to blind you with the lights. And then I'm going in with this goldy tone just here. Then either this one or this one, but I will let you know. And I'm afraid I can't tell you the names of them because I haven't got the piece of plastic that came with them anymore. So, mm-hmm. For the pale colour I showed you, I'm going to be using this Brushworks double-ended brush on the big fluffy side. And I'm just going in, tapping off the excess, and I'm going to put this in the corner centre cent, corner of my eyes. Of my eyelid, even. But because we have that... Um, primer down, hopefully, it will show up all right. Yeah, but I like this one because it's got a little purple hue to it. And um, those that know Nikki Witch know I love my purples a lot. Pack a bit more on there. Oh yeah. I don't know whether you can see. Yeah, if I do that every so often, we might be onto a winner. You're right. <laughs> Next up, another Wilco brush. Just looks like this, needs a good clean. And I'm going in to that light golden-y rose gold colour that I showed you, the second one I showed you. I love these colours because they're almost, although they are a powder, they are almost like a cream. So it's really good. And I'll put this on the outer two thirds of my eye, just on the bottom lid. Nowhere else. This is more of a mature Christmas eye because as much as I love those ladies that have the eye mascara and the eyeliners and the, the all coming up like that dramatic eye, I think for a lady of my age, which is over 35, and that's as far as I'm going, then over dramatic is just touch too much. That's just my thought. You could think something different, I don't know. But that's what that looks like at the moment. I know, we need some colour in there. Don't worry, it's coming. I'm now going to go in with that dark shade I showed you. But what I'm going to do is on the Brushworks brush, I'm going to use the smaller side and just go into that real dark brown tone, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to do my crease line. If you can hear any loud noises, I'm apologising now because that 
is my overly inconsiderate neighbour. Come back, Laura, all is forgiven. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have made a difference because Laura was next door that way and this one is next door that way. So, I should be saying come back, Tony, but he's still in the block. He's just moved down one. I am going a little dark with this, I know, I'll show you, okay. but, you know, uh, there is a reason for that. Next up, da -da 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 -da. can't reach it, there we go. Don't know where I got this brush from, I'll be honest, but the way that this one blends my eye, my eyeshadow, I absolutely love it and I wouldn't swap it for the world, so I'm just going to go in with a wash motion and just basically blend what's there. Maybe come out a tiny bit, but not overly coming out. I'm coming out. <laughs> no, I'm not, don't worry. Me and James are fine. <laughs> oh, God knows what they're barneying about now. Okay, that's what we have at the moment. probably do with a pot more colour. What do you think? Yeah, let's go for a bit more colour. Let me get my Real Techniques detailing brush. And I'm going to go in, I'll hold it this way up, with this really bold gold here. Let's see where we can put that. I'm going to put that right in the centre of my eye. It's rather a coppery gold, so hopefully that will complement the purple. I need to find somewhere different to put that lamp. I haven't quite got my setup right yet. As soon as I sort this setup out. Brilliant. I get an LED light put there. <laughs> you might actually be able to see what's going on with me. Yeah, right, that'll happen. But with this one, I'm just going to sweep over the eye. I really should buy myself a fluffy blending brush. That would be the next one. So I don't think I've got one of those. What are you? Now it's a contour brush. And a buffing brush. So yeah, I haven't got a fluffy blending brush. That's why I use that little one. So yeah. But <sighs> I'm waffling. Sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Sorry. I don't care. Well, I do because I love to use a lot. So. But that's what we have. Hopefully you can see that. I won't be able to tell until I look back. It still doesn't look dramatic enough. So. Putting brushes away. Never leaving them out which I have started to do, that they're all out. <sighs> Dear. Right, I've heard a lot of people saying about women of certain ages should not wear black eyeliner on their waterline, but fooey, T-U-E. I love my black eyeliner. The one I'm using today is the Miss Beauty UK one, or is it just Miss Beauty? No, it's Miss Beauty London, and I love this eyeliner. I have worn black eyeliner on my waterline for as long as eyeliner has been on my face. So I'm not going to change the way I do that now just because some people say people of a certain age shouldn't do that. So I'm going to line my waterline and just the inner corner of my top waterline. If I can actually see what I'm doing. This is the moment where I go quiet because I'm trying not to poke my eye out. Whilst at the same time trying to get a dramatic black line. Oh, here we go. They're now in the hallway arguing, so I apologise for that. I don't know if they're arguing or if they just don't know how to speak quietly. I really don't. I 
and they don't just reserve it for half past two in the afternoon either. Sometimes they're really generous neighbours and you get it half past four in the morning. Or six o'clock in the morning. Or midnight. So that's that bit. My eyes are now dramatically darkened. <coughs> Next up. Let's go wrap that up for a second. Like so. I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I am going to have a small wing. Because I do like to, I've, I've figured out a way for me to do a small winged eyeliner. It's not conventional in any way, shape or form, but it works for me. So if my sister's watching, you did ask a long time ago. The eyeliner I'm using, liquid eyeliner, is the Avon. And it's Avon Super Extend. And I find the ones that work better for me are the ones like this. They're a bit like a pencil, a felt tip, all that sort of thing. But what I do is I align this up with my nose and then because it's the perfect point, I will do that and then, I'm doing this backwards, but I will draw in my line. You know what I mean, I will show you, but yeah, that's what I do. So, dab like that. And then I just come along to about a third of the way in and fill in. Like that. Just a small wing, not a big one, nothing too over dramatic. But dab. And fill in. It works for me. I'd love to know what your techniques are. Pop it in the comments bar down below and let me know. It would be entertaining to see. But I wish I could get my lighting sorted. I was going to get the perfect setup and you know it all kind of went apart. <sighs> Sometimes I do need to go in with a small detail brush or one of these sponge brushes that you get from other makeup palettes and I am just going to clean up what's underneath because it did have a little overspill and even on my top a bit of overspill. Oh, don't poke yourself in the eye though, yeah? Right, one seems to be more pointed than the other. So I'll just go back in and uh, this is where the danger zone happens because you go back in. And do this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go this way and just redefine that point. Gentlest of touches using just the end of the nib. I seem to have got that. Quick, somebody take a picture. Nikki's actually got her eyes cat-eyed. Wowza. Right, next up, because this is going to be a very long video if I don't hurry up. First of all, I'm just reaching in the drawer for any lip balm. I'm just going to put some lip balm on my lips. What's the one I picked up? Mango Pie Baby Lips. Not that that's going to make a difference to the rest of your face, I'll go, but you know. I'm now going to blush and contour. The blush I use is the one I've used for a very long time, and that's the Miner's Blush Brick in Pinks. I'm using another Wilco's brush. 
and this is the Wilco's blended no, angled blush brush. These Wilco's brushes are really good. You really want to look out for them. They're absolutely brilliant brushes. I'm just going to go in and just tap it gently on the apples and up to my temples. Because I find that tends to give me a touch more definition. And I know I've just spent ages with the foundation taking the redness out of my face and now I'm putting it back in, but... It's different. Trust me, it's different. So that's that bit. Now I'm going to go in with Real Techniques Contour Brush. And what I use for my contour is this sleek blush. It's in the colour Suede. And the reason I do that is because it's quite a deeper, darker brown shade. But it's not too dark, because I don't want to be too dark. Because I'm only just really figuring out my contour. But I do just here. And just here. And then I also do my jawline because contour is supposed to, contour and highlight are supposed to make the best of your best bits. And since I've lost a bit of weight, my jawline seems to be one of them. Go across this top section and then just a bitty bit down my nose, just a bitty bit, not a big bit. And then I'm going to use this little fluffy brush just to soften any lines. And I know I'm using a sweeping motion now, but this brush is so super soft. I got it from TK Maxx. But I'll be truthfully honest and say I can't remember what its name was or anything like that. So sorry about that. <laughs> <coughs> right. Mascara. I'm going to be using the Be Cosmetics Be Longer Mascara. Looks like this. It's a lovely mascara. It actually came with the... Um, eyebrow kit as you can see so it was quite a good bargain all in, all around now you could put false lashes on at this point and there is nothing stopping you but I don't wear false lashes I don't like them I well, it's not that I don't like them I just don't get on with them so I'd much rather just layer up this mascara is a good one and it does lengthen your lashes quite a lot. Let that dry for a minute and then we'll go in for a second layer. Now lipstick wise, because it's sort of like a neutral party look up there, I'm going to use like a neutral colour on my lips, but I can actually go a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in with NYC's Brandy Sparkle. Got this from Poundland. Looks like this. Excuse that, that was me. I caught it with the lid. I've got a bit of doing that though, I can't do things proper anyway. And then on a Freshly moisturised lips. And just gold them out. Like so. Then, if I can find it. Not that one. That one. This one. This is the... Max Factor Vibrant Curve Effect Lip Gloss. I found this in the original factory shop. But because we are going with the party look, just add a few dabs of glitter. And because I don't want glitter going back in, I don't want my lip colour going back into the part, I'm just going to wipe the pipette like that. 
just to stop the colour going back in the pot because I want this to stay clear. I made that mistake with the last one I had. <laughs> and there we go. It's sort of dramatic, sort of not. Don't know. Let's see if I can get this lighting where you can see it a bit better. You could add more colour if you wanted to. You could take away from it. Not that there's much to take away. But yeah, just got just do another coat of the mascara or put your false lashes on and then fix your hair and you're good to go. So thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and to come back and see me soon. And I promise it won't be so long. Bye.